Hi guys, 14th Prime here, back with another custom review. It's been, it's been a while since I've uh, done a review. Even though this is a custom review, so... Does it count? <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, um, there, there's something different. There's, um, there's a different table. Not only is there a different table, but there's also a different camera that allows me to do this. And it looks better. <laughs> And then also, as you can see, you don't have to worry about, oh man, you see table or wall or whatever. There's blue. We have blue now. We are, uh, we, we, we are blue. Not gonna make the song reference, but someone thinking it. Someone out there is thinking it. Anyways. Here we have Jazz. This is, this is a, this is a review, right? <laughs> and, um, actually as of this recording, I picked this guy up around a week ago and was very thrilled. Target employees. I love them if you're a Target employee. I love you too. <laughs> Cause anytime I have to ask for something in the back, they're, they're always really nice. But this is a custom review, meaning I'm not gonna show transformation, I'm just gonna kinda show the figure and what I've done. However, since I haven't previously reviewed this figure, I will be doing a few other things like size comparisons and articulation, but still not transformation because I didn't do anything to the alt mode so it's not worth transformation. Yeah. But as you can see, a few things I did, for example, is this was originally a clear blue, kind of like the shoulders there, but I painted it metallic blue, even though I know it probably should have been silver, but you know what? Forget it. Um, I painted all this gunmetal, and then I dry brushed it copper, and then I repainted some bits gunmetal. It uh, kind of looks... On the arms, I painted some tiny bits of gunmetal there, and then the hands and that little bit gunmetal. On the abdomen, I painted... Gunmetal and then some copper. The big work I did is the legs. The legs were originally like a gray plastic, you know, kind of similar to how the original 2007 Jazz figure was, where it's like just a gray. And somewhat like the um, recent Takara movie, The Best Jazz, where only some bits were silver, other bits were gray. I painted all flat aluminum, and then add some bits of gunmetal in there, so just inside the legs. And then gunmetal I paint on the inside of the legs there, and some copper. Some gunmetal inside the feet, then some copper. I know it should be like technically a, like a titanium gold color, but I like this more. I was gonna do red in there for anyone that's like, how dare you? But it's, red sucks. That's why you never see red customs on this channel. Also, the wheels I kind of made look a bit shinier. That's still not enough for vehicle mode, but you know. So there's that. So there's uh there's that. Articulation on the guy is actually pretty good. His head rotates. It can look up that far, then a little bit more if you want to use the transformation panel. And he can look down that far, even though he's he's so short. I don't think he's looking down at anyone. Arms can move up a lot. Full 360. There. Double bend at the elbow. Nothing at the waist, unfortunately. Legs move forward. Legs kind of move back. Amazing spread. There's, um... Not a thigh swivel. Is there a thigh? I think there is, and I just kind of painted over it. <laughs> thigh swivel! <laughs> there we go. Knee bend. Slight forward knee bend. Really weird ankles. Ankle and, like, half the leg. And then this little heel spur can kind of move up and down. I do wish he had a waist joint, but I, I can accept it. Unless he does have a waist joint, I'm dumb. Does he? No. No, I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> No, no waist joint. That's hollow in there. I do love the silver paint they originally applied on this figure, and I, I wish I had some because it would be all over him, but I don't. Also painted the weapon, which I did some gunmetal on the inside there, copper there, and the rest was flat aluminum. And then you can peg into his hand either. You can have him hold it, but that would scratch up the paint. So we do this, where you can see some silver... Camera focus, you're better. You're much better than my old camera, please. You can see some silver already got on there. I love this camera, guys. I can I can show you guys. You can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Any, for anyone that's new, they don't realize how much I did not like my old camera. And now for a few comparisons. Let's not zoom out, let's zoom. There we go. We can get in, prime, barely standing, 
the second in command to actually get him standing up straight. We can get Ratchet in here. And let's get Bumblebee. And you can see they all look alright. Jazz is like I think a hair shorter than Bumblebee, or maybe they're the same height. He is pretty small, I'll admit that. A lot of people have had issues with it, about his size. And I, and I will admit, first seeing him, I was like, wow, this thing is small. <laughs> like, holding it in my hand while walking out of Target in the box, I'm just like, there, this is so small. And then also, premium jazz. Still the best color jazz, it's better than mine. <laughs> It's better because it has it has the red. <laughs> it wins automatically due to the red. Full stand. But, but you can see just kind of how short he is now. But I still think this is a really good figure that you should pick up. Even though he's smaller for the amount of like silver paint they put on this thing. Like this thing for the vehicle mode. It's, it's worth it. And even the paint on it originally is not that bad. It's just that I like to paint my figures. That's why custom reviews are a thing now. Overall, I say it, it, I'm also biased considering Jazz is a favorite of mine, but I would say get him. Also, he's supposed to be able to do, to do a pose. I saw him, I saw it on a Facebook group actually, where he did like the handstand pose. I haven't been able to do it myself, but he he can do it. I've seen it. I have uh, I have seen it. But anyways, again, could highly recommend this figure, even if you don't paint them, or even if you want to buy them to paint them. If they ever release a G1 colored version of this mold, I would be completely down for it. Then again, with all the new releases of Studio Series shown at, um, I think it was San Diego Comic Con recently, or one convention recently. I'm, not, I'm actually not too excited for the rest of the line. It's all repaints, guys. It's all repaints, guys. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, please check out my channel for more video reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out my Tumblr page where I post my customs and posted this guy a few days ago. Actually, link in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime. Signing out.